the verdict of the finance minister Tommy, is yeah, that first the of recovery all, first of all is on the right path yeah, first of all COVID conditions first of all the point has to be made that this is not the first time that elements or higher apps in the Akufu Adobaumia MPP government have told us that Ghana's economy is showing signs of recovery. This is not the first time. Um, I hold in my hand a publication by the Business and Financial Times dated July 31st, 2023. 2023. And the headline is Economy Showing Signs of Recovery, Kenu Furiata. In 2023, Akufuado said the same things he's saying today. We are in, we are at the tail end of November of 2024. Few weeks to the end of the tenure of the second term of the MPP. And they are still saying the same thing, speaking the same grammar. Economy is showing signs of recovery. So the economy we started recovering in 2023, according to Ken Uforiata, and um, Akufuado never recovered. It is still showing signs of recovery. That should tell you that they are simply lying to the people of this country. I submit very forcefully that what we are seeing does not reflect an economy showing any significant signs of recovery. Why is that? And I'm going to demonstrate that to you. No significant signs of recovery. The Chairman of the economic management team today is Alaji Baumia. And while in opposition, he told all of us that the most important economic metric for determining the health of any economy is what? The exchange rate. And that is why he made the infamous statement that if the fundamentals of your economy are weak, the exchange rate will expose you. In fact, when he won power, he told us that that statement was true then and it is true today. So if you want to see that Ghana's economy is recovering, Bawomia is telling you, he says, look at the exchange rate. You recall what he said. He says, when in doubt, look at what? The exchange rate. If you look at the exchange rate today, who in his right senses can say that this economy is showing signs of recovering? As for the economy rebounding to pre-pandemic levels, I don't even want to talk about it. It's an insult. It is a lie. And Professor Bobkin, who was my lecturer in financial management, has done justice to that. With credible data, I will not even belabor the point. I am submitting that even as we speak today, you can say that the economy is showing any significant signs of recovery because the exchange rate, which according to Baumia is the most important metric, is at its unstable best. As at last week, the CD had lost 29% of its value against the dollar in this year alone. As I speak to you, depreciation of the CD against the dollar for 2024 alone is moving around 27, 28%. Is that a sign of uh, 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 recovery? Or they don't understand the meaning of recovery? That word recovery, no, they don't understand it. Today, on the black market, if you go to a forest bureau, you need about 16.4, 16.5 to buy one US dollar. The banks who are selling dollars at 15.8, 15.9, 16 cities, they don't even have the dollars. There is shortage of dollars in the system. And you are talking about recovery. What recovery? That recovery can only be a figment of their own imagination. Do they know what this phenomenon of depreciation of the currency this this free fall of the city do they know the debilitating impact it has had on businesses do they know the businesses that have lost their working capital because of this in 2016 the businessman who needed ten thousand dollars to import goods into the country needed only about forty thousand cities forty two thousand cities today for the same amount ten thousand dollars you need more than one sixty thousand cities and you are telling us that the, the economy is showing signs of recovery. In your mind and in your pockets. But not in the lives of the ordinary Ghanaian and the businessman. Inflation. And this is where I will depart from my, my very revered lecturer. You, 
Inflation is also not showing any signs of recovery. Because, because, you see, the most important thing to look out for, for me, is the trajectory of inflation. And in the last two months, inflation has been on the upward trajectory. So I don't know what Nsafwapoku was talking about when he said inflation has been coming down. Down where? Down where? In August of this year, the inflation rate was 20.4. I'm talking about the CPI. Mm -hmm. In September, it rose to 21.5. In October, it is 22.1. The producer price index, PPI, was 30.5 in September. In October, it is 33%. Is that downward uh, trajectory of inflation? Your, the Ghana Circle Service. Yes. The, the publications are here. Let me read that to you no, so that everybody no, we'll knows that. The it's, yeah, it's there's Reuters published on 6th November this month. Ghana inflation rises for second month in October. Mm -hmm. You read the story, the figures I mentioned to you are there. The PPI story I wrote, I, I, I read, is a publication this week, 21st November, two days ago. Producer price inflation rate increases to 33.0. If you read it, it's a 2.5% jump. How is that? How does that reflect a downward trajectory of inflation? Okay. Then you look at the debts. You look, look at the prof hit the nail right on his head when he spoke about the GRR, the Ghana reference rate. 28.84% for November. Today, for some facilities, banks are charging lending rates of 36%, 35%, 34%. Some facilities. And you call this a sign of recovery? Yes, I get a point Prof makes, okay? When he says that, if you look at some of the economic metrics in 2022, for example, and you compare that to now, you can say that, though, there's been some relative improvements. I don't call those things improvements or signs of recovery. You know why? You see, you can describe them as signs of recovery if they are as a result of some prudent economic measures of the government. But well, if, listen. The, the president talks hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. measures put in place hold on, hold on. by the central bank. Hold, hold, what to, prudent to, measures? To, the to only reduce. thing, the main factor accounting for that marginal relative improvement in some of the matrices, not all. Because as I've shown you, the exchange rate is not doing any better. You understand? In 2022, it depreciate, the city depreciated by 54%. At this rate, we may cross 30% by December. You understand? Now, the reason for that relative marginal insignificant improvement in some of the metrics is because the government borrowed from individuals and institutions money that government is supposed to pay. I want to simplify it so that the ordinary man listening to us will understand. It is time for government to pay the money it borrowed. Akuf Wadu and Bahomia says, we don't have the money to pay. And they have expropriated $12 billion of monies lent to government by our creditors. You said that's savings. What? Savings? That's what the You, you have stolen savings. somebody's money. Somebody has loaned his money to you. It is time to pay. You are telling the person, I can't pay. You eat your, your coupon rate, I was supposed to pay this percent. I will give you a haircut and pay this. Your principal, I was supposed to pay it now. I will defer it for the next 15 years. Even if you die within that 15 years, I don't care. And because people don't have a choice, because government is not giving them a choice, they accept it. And somebody has died as a result. The, camp, the owner of Kama Conference Center, is he not the dead man as we speak? Mm -hmm. So that money that they have deferred, who will take it? His ghost? That is, that is a sign of recovery. So as a right. result of this, mm -hmm. if you see some marginal you know, improvement in some of the metrics, you can't call them signs of recovery. Because if we were servicing our debt today, you would need more than 25 Ghana cities to buy one US dollar. Even with the dollar crossing 16 cities, we are not servicing our debt. Our external debt obligation, we are not servicing it. How is that? It is artificial. This is not as a result of any prudent economic measures. It's like we came to meet this desk very clean. Then I come to muddy it. I come and put mud on it. 
And then you tell me that, look, you came to me the table clean. Why have you put mud on it? Then I clean 50% on, of the mud on the table. And I say, clap for me, clap for me. This table has shown signs of recovery because there, were, there, there, there was mud on it and I've cleaned 50% of the mud. So clap for me. Forget it that when I came there, the table was quickly clean. I placed the mud there. You caused this mess. So by expropriating $12 billion of people's money, people's hard-earned monies, including pensioners, some have developed heart diseases, high blood pressure, stroke. Others have died because you have taken their money. And you're here saying the economy is showing signs of recovery. I'm talking about in Safuapoko. Look, and like Doc said, a prof said, the most important matrices, I, will, I have spoken about exchange rates. Another one is unemployment. With unemployment rates, have we seen any sign of recovery? It's 14.7, eh? That one was even two years ago. The current figures will be far higher. Hmm. And, and according to the same Ghana Statistical and Service, know the figure? and the, the current, according to the, according to the Ghana Statistical Service, unemployment rate was 8.4% as at 2016. Yeah. Even if we are to go with the latest figures they published mm. two years ago, it's 14.7. Yeah. So what, Have we seen any improvement? So what's the current one? Far worse than what the 14.7. What is it? Please, they have not published any latest figure. So we are working with the 14.7, which is far worse. Okay? Then, this is my brother from the MPP, who one moment pretends to be MPP, another moment he tries to run away from the MPP like a plague. <laughs> he says he doesn't speak for a Kufuado, but you speak for who? You were a known card bearer member of the MPP. You even contested to be speak, flag bearer. For government. You are the aide of the man who has destroyed exactly. the economy. No, but don't speak for the You number. are the aide I am not of the chairman of the, the aid, economic I management. I am not the aide of Baumia. When you were talking, I, I, I'm not the aid of I didn't have to you once. You. Not not the aid, if you heckle me, you won't talk here again. I beg you. If you heckle me, I will heckle you. Don't give me positions. You are the aide. The flyer which was published says you are the aide of Baumia. No, I'm not. Baumia's boss is a Kufuan. I'm not. The me. fact that you are even running away from a Kufado no, like I'm a plague not, shows that the government is a failure. Now, hold on, hold on. Is no. the Everything you have I'm said, you have betrayed that. Person. Let me make my point. Let me make my point. Now, he comes and says that um, global factors. Global factors, Professor Bobkin, the financial expert analyst in the studio, just told you, or you were not hearing, that Cote d'Ivoire, Benin, Togo, no, Professor, know what, what you said. They've all gone to the capital market to borrow. So why not Ghana? As for them, they are not in the globe. Code of Wise is not in the globe. It's a rhetorical question. Oh, okay. Togo is not in the globe. Their economy is not junk like yours. Their debt is not unsustainable like yours. Even though the global factors affected all countries in the globe. To quote Bawomia in 2016, how did global factors jump Togo, Benin, Code d'Ivoire only to destroy our economy? You people, you have no, no respect for Ghanaians, no consistency. In opposition, global factors could not have been a credible excuse for Baumia. Today, that is your excuse, that is your weapon boy. No consistency. Hypocrisy at its approach. You're here talking about global factors. It was Ghana the only country affected by COVID? How come that only we, we've been locked out of the capital market? Our credit rating is junk, baller status. Only we, we, we look at our economy today and compare us to our neighbors. Even next door Burkina Faso, which is being ruled by a military janta, is doing better than us. You're not ashamed. You're talking about global factors. Then my brother, he says that eh, in spite of the challenges, they have performed better. Really? Or in every sector, they have performed better. Show me one sector. One sector. That is better today than what President Muhammad bequeathed to this guy, the one sector. He the mentioned health, the health sector. Hold on, hold on. He mentioned the health sector. I've given you one. He mentioned the growth. health sector. Growth under Muhammad, even at this lowest point, was 3.4. 2023, end of year growth, it was what, 2.3. Look, uh, he, he mentioned jobs. 2.9. 2.9. Jobs, 8.4 under Muhammad. Unemployment, today, 14.7. Look, let me give you their own budget. Me, let's use their own budget to settle it. This is Appendix 1B. Appendix 1B of the MP 1C of the MPP's own 2024 budget. Their own budget. The you latest one. The yes, budget yes. that was presented by Yes, government. yes, on behalf of the president. Now listen to the figures so that this man will not repeat this anywhere. Industry. Very important to the growth of any emerging or developing country. 2016 under Mahama. 4.3% growth. 
2021, negative 0.5. 2022, 0 0.9. 2023, the latest, negative 1.2. Industry is growing in the negatives. You are just saying you have done better in every sector. But uh, Let, let's go. Let's go ahead. Reference to the contribution of the one district, one factory, one hundred. We did it. That is the irony. So let's go to manufacturing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go to manufacturing. That's not. That's not. You can lie with cheap sloganeering that you are doing one D one F, but your own budget will expose you. Manufacturing. If you are doing one D one F, listen. Manufacturing. John Mahama, who didn't brag about one D one F. Mr. Martin Bebu, yeah. growth rates for manufacturing sector 2016, their own budgets, everybody can go and read. 7.9%. This is Appendix 1C. Budget. 2024, page 167. Mm -hmm. So manufacturing, 7.9% under John Mahama. Now let's go to uh, Akufuado. Alfred, you nearly made now, me lose my look, page. Can I make a quick insertion? You can't make you any insertion here. No, 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 you can't make. Yeah, it's here. Seven point nine. Hold on, hold on. Why he hides away? Hold on, let me make you my know point. The figure. It's a you, you know the unemployment If you keep figure, on hectoring, I will help you. What? I just checked. What? The unemployment what? rate for Ghana today is three percent. You are you are you are just displaying ignorance. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. It's right here. No, no, you don't even know what you're talking about. Let me make my point. Let me make my point. Let me give it to you. If you had your time, I didn't interject. Let me make my point. And I'll ask you the source. No, no, here we go. I'll ask you the source. You don't even know what you're talking about. He knows. I'm telling you. Unemployment has crossed fifteen percent. He doesn't even know what you're talking about. Fifteen percent. The man knows it. Let me make my point. He skips it. By the unemployment rate, hold on. Hold on. Let me make my point. Four percent. I have other sources that come from. Because there's three percent. So four. Let's even take four percent. Let's even take four percent. Which are never solutions. Says four percent. Let's take four percent. Yes. Let's take four percent. You are misreading it. I am misreading it. Go into the story. I take a strong exception to what Ensafwa is doing on this program. What does he say? Free solutions. You see, you're, 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 he doesn't understand what he's doing. Read it out. Yeah, he doesn't. No, I read it out. Avril, listen. You don't ask me a question. You skip it because you know what the truth is. You only came here to make noise because you know that if you keep quiet for us to have an informed intellectual analysis, you'll be exposed. Please go ahead. Let me tell you. When I speak about unemployment rate, I talk about Ghana statistical service data. Yeah. Okay. The figure he's quoting is World Bank data. Mm -hmm. His own employment minister, Ignatius Bafo, who has gone to parliament, I can read a story to you, to show why Ghana does not use World Bank unemployment data. Because the World Bank definition of unemployment has to do with people 15 years and above searching for jobs and not getting. Ghana uses a more relaxed definition, which is 15 years and above. We don't take account of those searching for jobs and not getting. And so in Ghana, we use figures published by the Ghana Statistical Service. Do basic research before you argue. But why Let me go back to Appendix 1C. The 14.7 is Ghana Statistical Service. 15.7 You're just making noise. You, you, you're, you're comparing oranges with apples. You, you, I'm talking about Ghana Statistical you, Service. You're talking about a different matrix. What you are referencing Look, is budget. Appendix 1C, I've given you the industry growth figures. Manufacturing, 7.9 under John Mahama. Now, they, apostles of 1D1F, listen, 2022, manufacturing, negative 2.5. 2023, negative 1.0. This is, you have performed better. Construction, he mentioned rules. Let's go you to the construction sector. Questions. When I come it is a rhetorical wait, question. Wait, wait. Don't you know the meaning, the difference between a question your submission. requiring an answer and a rhetorical question? Construction, 2016, 8.4%. Read your own budget before you come and pedal for food on, on TV. 8.4% under John Mahama, the nation builder. Now let's look at construction under them, those who have built more roads than any government in history. They say 10,000 kilometers of road. 2019, construction sector, negative 4.4. 3.1 in 2020, 6.0 in 2021, 2022, negative 4.0. 2023, negative 5.0. John Mahama did 8.4 in 2016. You are not ashamed of yourself. You say you are, this is the better. Yeah. You, the first government in the history of Ghana to expropriate people's hard earned monies that they lent to you mm -hmm. through crude haircuts. You, 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 you can't even service your debts. John Mahama bequeathed to you an economy that was rated B minus by all the sovereign credit rating agencies. Today, your economy is rated baller, junk. 
You can't even go to the capital market that Kofu took us there to borrow. John Mahama took us there to borrow. You can't go there. You have mouth to talk. You have killed people by expropriating their money. People yeah. are dying. Yes. And you, are, you have mouth to talk. You people don't have a conscience. You can't even show some modesty and humility in the midst of this failure. You are saying you've performed better. I'm, and then you talk I... about solutions. No. He talks about solutions. Listen. Tell me one solution Bawumia has provided to the unemployment problem on our hands, which he created. Okay. So he's been launching. So, so give me the floor. My brother. Oh, but you, you must tell you. Give you me must the floor. learn. You and you wanted to no, be a president. No, 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 give me the floor. No, 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 you with this attitude, you wanted to be a president. No, no, no. You see. You don't even have self control. You can't even wait for your time. This is the rhetoric of. You are being a new dance on this show. Are you the only person on this show? On the program. Master, keep quiet and let me talk. Are you the only person on this show? When you were speaking, we all showed you respect. Show yourself some respect. Make your point without rhetoric. No, but the guy keeps on making questions. Don't, don't. And this guy wanted to be president. What a shame. Sami, let's not bother on this. I did have never asked you a question. Let's not bother on this. Let's No, you are disrespecting me. Because when you were speaking, I gave you respect. I listened to you in silence. You have done it. One, Hold two, on. three, four, five. You want to so re reduce the program into a shouting match? Let's talk about that. Why Mr. Pebble was speaking make, the make, same make, thing you did? Make your point. Look, he spoke about solutions. You have been in office for eight years. Where were those solutions? That was what Bawumia said in 2016 to John Mahama. That if you knew how to manage, if Mahama knew how to manage the economy, where were all those ideas when he was in office for eight years? Say that again. For, yes. Today you have also been in office for eight years. So where were those both solutions? You've been launched every problem, one, one app, one problem, one app. So where is the app for the depreciating city? Where is the app for to fix the unemployment problem? Where is the solution? Apart from Bawomia dancing off beats to OOCC Nibi, has he announced even one problem as a solution to unemployment? Apart from me dancing off beats to OCC Fianibi. John Mohammed's solution is 24 yeah, hour economy. He says he has no hair, Sam. He mentioned zero. 24 hour economy. Even a kid in Ghana today knows it. John Mohammed's solution to unemployment, Women's Development Bank, National Apprenticeship Program, Farmer Service Centers, and farm banks to create jobs in the area of agri. Women's Development Bank to add two additional shifts to our work cycle to increase production, productivity, and create decent jobs. Women's Bank to give low interest loans on very flexible terms to women to go into entrepreneurship. We've spoken about all this, you've not heard. The man who is rather dancing off beat to Sisyphianibi, or if he's not dancing to that, no, we'll try and poor. Nyamine Shiraye, Nashimwo. That is your solution to the problems confronting us that God has blessed Bawomia and it is paying in Ghanaians. So please, you have no solution. And in fact, if Bawomia had any solution, he would have implemented it. He's been okay. chairman of the economic management team. He was the one who waxed lyrical about the economy at several lectures in opposition. He was given the chance. Akufuado, his boss, told us that Bawomia's I mean, primary responsibility was to fix and stabilize the city. And that is why he said, see, deny hata hata. That's why I brought Bawumia, yeah. a man who once helped Kofu to come and help me manage the currency. When Bawumia came into office, he was the one who adored the so-called solid economic management team. Professor Jambafo, Akoto Ose, mm -hmm. what a solid team. Mm -hmm. Today, he can't, the, the economy has even become haram for him. He can't even mention the economy. Because he has failed, totally run down the economy. Unemployment at an all-time high. Interest rates so high and unbearable. Today, Big Pen has left Ghana. Today, Nivea has left Ghana, that body cream. Dark and Lovely has left Ghana. Lipton Tea has left Ghana. Unilever's Tea Production Plant has left Ghana. Glovo has left Ghana. Jumia Foods have left, has left Ghana. Where are they going to? They are not going to America. They are going to Cote d'Ivoire and Nigeria. They are going to Togo. Why? Because of the high cost of doing business which has become unbearable for businesses in this country. All these business, bi businesses have left Ghana, all of them, and there are more, because of the unbearable, unprecedented high cost of doing businesses. Today, businesses are paying COVID-19 levy, Bola levy, uh, all these levies, growth and sustainability levy, uh, VAT has been increased. Under the man who promised us to move us from taxation to production, you think Ghanaians have short memories? For them to buy into your so-called solutions when you don't have any credibility okay. that can even ground these new Wait. promises you are giving. 
The man who promised us concrete roads and has not even delivered one kilometer of concrete road anywhere. We should believe the so-called bold solutions. Where were those bold solutions in the last eight years? The man who promised the people of Cape Coast a new harbor and an airport, when his own boss says that promise was never even discussed by the party. We want, you want us to believe this man who has proven to be a pathological liar, bereft of credibility? Please, no, a show us some respect. So, so in conclusion, in just five seconds, I, I so, so in conclusion, yes, you can say, and I get Prof's drift, and, uh, that in terms of some of the matrices, you can see improvement. But he always asks, at a very expensive rate, you understand? And I am saying that my interpretation of that is no improvement at all, because we have lost far more than what we have gained relative to those few matrices. But in some of the matrices, there, have, there has not been any improvement at all. Okay. You understand? But, and things but, are getting but, but, worse, but, like but, unemployment. No, no, no. The exchange rate oh, getting oh, worse today, 15, 16, oh, 17, 17.5, 17. then 16 again. Oh, no the, business on, can on plan. The, on the matter of the recovery. No business can plan. And, 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 